Hey guys, so I was trying to come up with an idea for a random video that, that I could tape right now because I have some free time and I'm alone in my condo. Um, so I came up with sort of a random vlog about the books that I'm currently reading. And I started reading um, about a year ago or a year and a half ago, A House of Night Novels by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. And I got through the first book and a half and then I stopped because I moved back to Chicago and I just was too busy with everything going on in my life to really focus on reading the book. And I'm the type of person where when I sit down and read a book, I read the book. Like, I will sit down in an entire day and just power through a 400-page book or a 700-page book. The Twilight series, I read all four of those books in less than a week. And some of those books are about 700 pages, so I sat down and read and read and read. I was up to, like, four in the morning a couple of nights in a row when I read that. But I read the first book and a half, like I said, a year and a half ago. I stopped and then my mom brought over these two gigantic bags of books to my uh, condo that she'd finished reading and wanted to give to me so that I could read through them. And it so happened that she bought all of the um, House of Night novels and so I had them all to read. So last week I started reading the second book over and this novel um, or series, there is currently six books out and a seventh to be released at the end of this month, I think April 27th. Okay, so the books that are currently out are Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, and Tempted. And the book that's supposed to come out at the end of this month is called Burnt. Um, and this is kind of what the cover work sort of looks like. Each one's slightly different. Um, and what's kind of cute is that I guess these books must have been my grandma's first because she wrote on the inside of them, like, the order of all the books. Like, she wrote, like, book number four. Um, and she did that in all the covers of all the books so you don't get confused as to which the next one is in the series, which I think is funny about my grandma. She does that. Um, but this series is about vampires, and as you all know, I'm really into vampires. I've read all the Snooky Stackhouse novels. I've read, um, uh, I've read a couple of the Anita Blake um, vampire books. Uh, but they're a little bit dark and a little dirty, and I got through the third one, and then I couldn't get a hold of the next book in the series, and I kind of looked up a summary of it online, and the series just took kind of a dark turn that I didn't really want to go into, so I stopped reading the Anita Blake novels, but um, I am currently on the sixth book in the House of Night novel, so I have powered through these books in about a week. Um, and I've actually enjoyed them. They're young adult books, so they're appropriate for, you know, teenage to mid-twenties sort of level. They're really easy to read. They're not complicated. I, ca I like the storyline. I think it's fun. Like I said, it's about vampires, and it's kind of based on the idea that everyone's sort of born normal and human, and then when you're in high school, you, that you get what is called as marked, and you get this like crescent-shaped um, silhouette on your forehead, and that means that you're going to at some point in your life in the next couple of years turn into a vampire. So when you're marked, then you go to this special vampire school where you go to school for basically like high school um, until you either become a vampire or you die. And so either you accept the change and you turn into a vampire or your body's too weak or something about you doesn't allow you to go through the change to becoming a vampire. So this book is about this girl named Zoe and um, she's beautiful. She's uh, she's part Indian, she's part Cherokee Indian, and she's just a really nice girl, and she gets marked, and she gets this special mark that's filled in, and there's all these details about the marks, and you, a lot of them, um, when they become vampires, they get these special tattoos on their face, um, that are like a sort of navy color, and they get all filled in, and you, and she is special because when she gets marked, she automatically gets all of these tattoos all over her face, and she starts to get them all over her body, and that's something no other vampire um, has ever had before. And she's not a full vampire. You're not a full vampire until you go through the change. You're kind of what they call a fledgling, so you're like kind of training to become a vampire. But she is special. She has special talents. And it kind of goes through her experience at the school and her making friends and enemies and, and bad things. And she is totally special all the way through. I don't want to give too much away about the storyline. Um, like I said, it's really easy to read. The only slightly annoying thing is because it is young adult, um, there's a lot of repetition throughout all the books. So they the author kind of brings up a lot of sort of detail-oriented things multiple times throughout a book to kind of remind the reader um, of small details. 
but she also does that from one book to the next so she does a lot of like going back to things that happened in previous stories to make sure that maybe if you started at the second or third book that you kind of have an understanding of what's going on so that's slightly annoying I don't necessarily like having to go back into all the detail of previous books um, there's that aspect and then the only other slightly annoying aspect of this book is I'm all for you know the love interest of the story but Zoe every boy loves her and and she seems to have connections with a lot of different characters in the books that she's in and it kind of is always going back to how she has to choose between this boy and that boy and that boy and then oh but then he's out of the picture and then oh he's in, in the picture again and then he's out of the picture and then oh she's in love with all three of them at the same time and it's just like oh come on now like that does not really happen in real life. Um, but the storyline is interesting. The characters are interesting. Her talent's interesting. I think it sort of takes the sort of whole idea of a vampire or the this just the vampire storyline into a new direction than previous books have taken it into. So those are the series that I'm currently reading. I can't wait till the new Suki Stackhouse novel comes out in May. I can't wait till True Blood starts on uh, HBO again. I love that series. And if you haven't read um, the Sookie Stackhouse novels. They're fabulous. I believe there's eight books in that series so far. It's also a vampire-based novel. Twilight. Excellent. I, uh, I, like I said, I read uh, three of the Anita Blake uh, novel books and it got a little creepy. There's a lot of sex in that book um, and I just, it just went into a really dark place that I didn't want to continue with. But this is kind of the books that I'm reading now. I hope that kind of inspired you maybe to go and check out the House at Night novels. And I heard that it's going to be made into a movie that's going to come out in 2011, so that's kind of exciting. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.